Greetings everyone, here's Lodric again and this is a game War and the Pacific Atmos Edition. This is my play by Evil Magic against Kilroy. This is uh, Scenario 1 on the game version 27. Kilroy have the allies with uh, working American torpedoes at the start of the war to boost his abilities. And for me it is Japan and uh, we are now in the last days of uh, March 42, so the last days of invasion bonus for Japan. And I think in this turn I will try to make a second landing in North Australia. And we will see how successful this is. First there is a French destroyer or a whole task force approaching Komak. My submarine tried to intercept but was not successful. There is a corvette still south of Colombo hit my submarine. Uh, this is a small engagement at Pearl Harbor. And this is the task force I spotted last turn and I wasn't sure if they, where they're going, so they there I bombard here the center of the island to burn supplies and weaken my forces. So this is a lot of heavy cruisers, also base damage, so this is all supply consumption for me. And the heavy battleships going for Cormac direct. And also some other equipment. So more damage to my main base. And I am already low on supplies and Cormac. So yeah. No successful attack here. And finally, I also sent some Navy Guard units to take now Nauru Island. I had more or less ignored this so far, but finally I want to take these two islands. There are Australian forces on it, so I want to make sure that there's nothing hiding, uh, spotting my ships maybe, or the run submarines nearby. Unloading, okay. French destroyer. Maybe this are the ships already going back to Australia after the bombardment, avoiding my torpedoes again. And here's a cargo ship at uh, Marshall Islands running in my patrol boat. No hit on both sides. My Navy scout airplanes detecting here shipping. Uh, but nothing big. Normally the big battleships are a good and juicy target for my torpedo bombers but I must also be a little worried about uh, enemy carriers and local cap fighters and you can see that the weather is already again uh, messing up with my strike force more ground attacks more damage or destroyed units for kill oil. and here are my Mavis torpedo bombers Maybe out of Luganville, Oklahoma, that would be now a good target. Pennsylvania, oh, Pennsylvania got a torpedo hit. Nice. Double torpedo hit. With critical damage. And the third hit, but no explosion, but hit number four, make an explosion, so three torpedo hits so far. With one critical hit. Oklahoma also get a token hit. Double token hit. Three token hits. This one could again. So three on three. Four. This that also could again. And one oof. I think Oklahoma is there. That is three normal hits, three critical hits. 
in Oklahoma. And yeah, Oklahoma is going down directly and Pennsylvania is heavily damaged but no heavy fire so maybe we can still limp back. Oklahoma I think is one of these older battleships so yeah. They are really only useful for bombardments. And maybe flag support. Sink them is not bad for me, of course. Uh, but they also don't really play too big a role in this war. Ground attacks. With a little luck I get maybe a second torpedo run on this enemy battleship formation. And once a ship is normally slowed down, it is much easier to uh, hit it again. So the first hit is the most important. More ground forces destroyed. The Hurricane's trying to sweep my own base now, but I have zero on guard and uh, I, can't, I can't defeat their incoming Hurricanes. Numbers are too small for my zero. Okay, no second torpedo with one. Still one sunk enemy battleship and one crippled. There's still some days left and maybe if the battleship can only go one hex per pulse or maybe two hex per day, uh, maybe two more. Now my invasion fleet arrives at Townsville. Luckily uh, Kilroy's battleships are not showing up now here. So he just consumed his ammunition, he must go back to Brisbane or Sydney to rearm and he lost one or better to say two battleships now. Some fire and hits on my ships, but this cruiser normally tank all of these hits, so this is okay. Nothing critical, and I was able to inflict some damage for the in uh, for the base force in Townsville. The landing still casualties, but this is I would say acceptable. I only will now see soon find out how strong this killer was present in Townsville. Obama and Aichang and finish here the last Dutch units in Sumatra. Yeah, all three are destroyed, so Sumatra is operation are done. Naru Island was successful, the space was destroyed. Timor is still holding a little longer. And uh, I can see here uh, some British, uh, Australian forces. Mm, not so sure if this is uh, around 400, at least 400 attack value. So I don't even have double attack value. This is clear, huh? but still, I'm not so sure if this is enough. I was hoping that Kilroy sent his forces maybe to Darwin or that they are in New Caledonian or somewhere else and that he has nothing left to defend Townsville but looks like I was not so lucky this time. So first, air losses, 
5 to 3, nothing very special, so Arikens 2, but I also lost a 0, and a bunch of other airplanes. Very equal losses. One pilot killed for me. Okay. More important is that there was a today a successful uh, thinking of. Uh, um, I don't know. I think Oklahoma go down. And Oklahoma is uh, the oldest type of warship, so you can see only twenty seven thousand tons, only fourteen inch, and only ten of them. So this is a. Uh, the, yeah, the ship you the Americans can afford to lose most easily. The Pennsylvania is already much stronger with nearly with 31,000 tons and 12 14-inch uh, guns, more firepower, stronger. And there's a reported uh, submarine sunk, but I hear no special submarine sinking, so I don't, this is not true. Still, I was able to cripple one battleship and sink one. Nice for the records. In China, no change. Not that I can really do here too much. I took the base, but the base itself is a little industry. I took it over. Okay. Uh, no incoming airstrikes more. Maybe Kilroy's Air Force is now crippled, so he cannot attack me more. Hmm. Cylon, my Zeus was uh, ready to intercept this enemy. Sh I was normally sweeping him, but this was not working. Don't know why. I lost. No, no pilot lost here. Don't know where is the zero lost today. So Sumatra operation is done. I can bring the tanks now to the next location. Uh, Java is also done. This and Philippines are done. Timor is nearly done, hopefully soon. I'm waiting for additional supplies. They're coming now here. Oh no, this is a patrol boat to make sure that there's nothing here in the port because so far I have only a local minesweeper. I'd like to have a local minesweeper and a patrol boat in my ports where I unload and load a lot of stuff so that I don't run in uh, any mines and submarines and something like this. At least that I will know that there's a submarine in mines. Then it's always a threat, not more so important. This is my carrier, say more or less uh, was here on position to intercept any shipping coming here up the coast to uh, more or less secure the landing in Townsville. Uh, uh, in this case, we more or less I miss Kilroy's ships, but I can now try to run down with my sub with my carriers. And maybe inflict here more damage on this retreating enemy task force. I only must make sure that there's nothing sneaky coming up here, not that Kilo have his carriers here. Then we would have a carrier strike, I mean. I have the I have your 370 aircraft ready. And you can see that I have roughly 100 fighters. And this means uh, 300 air... So, 100 fighters and... Uh, 300, yeah, maybe not this. Dive bomber, torpedo bomber, yeah. 250 torpedo bombers, I guess, strike craft, 100 fighters, and the rest is scout airplanes. Uh, a lot of submarines here. Unluckily, I don't really find the hit on the ship, but my torpedo bombers out of Lugenville did the job. Uh, I lost here maybe some aircraft. <coughs> no, not sure where. Uh, the Marshall Islands. So there is this one cargo ship. Maybe Kilway try to bring in new supplies. And my patrol boat uh, intercepted. And maybe make it uh, complicate for Kilway to unload his stuff. At the same time, I can try to bombard the ground forces a little more. And I can also try to unload here more supplies. Good. Yeah. So a successful turn for me. Only the landing in uh, 
Townsville, I'm not so sure. I can see 20,000 guys, and I, if it's really true that the aviation support is nearly catching up with my own, then it's a little troublesome. I have here still supplies to unload before I really can leave because I just have barely enough supplies to keep my forces, so I must maybe balance between unloading the supplies and make sure that I don't ruin my ships. I get here some hits by enemy uh, 6 inch, you can see 155 is 6.1 inch. They can create damage. I don't uh, penetrate the armor, but uh, yeah. I have here some fire at least, and fire can create system damage. Good. And see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.